The spermatic cord begins at the deep inguinal ring, forming a passage for its contents to the testes. It is encased by three layers of fascia derived from the anterior abdominal wall. The most superficial of these is the external spermatic fascia, which begins at the superficial inguinal ring and is derived from the external oblique upper neurosis. The cremasteric fascia or cremaster muscle is the middle fascial layer. Fibers from the internal oblique muscle are continuous with the cremaster. The cremaster can contract and relax to change the testes proximity to the body. This helps keep the testes at a suitable temperature for spermatogenesis. The internal spermatic fascia, which is a derivation of the transversalis fascia, begins at the deep inguinal ring and lies deep to the cremaster. Within the cord, deep to the internal spermatic fascia, the ductus deferens travels to the epididymis accompanied by the artery and vein to ductus deferens. The nerve to ductus deferens provides both sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation to the ductus deferens. The testicular artery supplies blood to the testis and epididymis. Sympathetic innervation to the artery is provided by the testicular nerve plexus. Lymphatic vessels draining testes to the aortic and cable lymph nodes accompany the artery. Up to 12 veins make up the pampiniform venous plexus. They surround the testicular artery and help to cool the arterial blood via heat exchange. The cremasteric artery and vein can be found within the cremasteric fascia. Innervation for the cremasteric fascia is provided by the genital branch of the genital femoral nerve. The vestige of the prosthesis vaginalis is contained in the distal spermatic cord and is a remnant of embryonic development. Learn more about the spermatic cord and its content with complete anatomy.